Hey what's up guys and you're watching Computer Edu 101 and today in this tutorial I'm going to show you the process of how to mount your NTFS, your FAT32 or EXT3 partitions into your Raspberry Pi with read and write permissions. That's right folks. You need to provide read and write permissions specifically to those partitions whenever you're mounting them. And this is very much important if you're trying to create a torrenting machine because as you know that Raspberry Pi does not have a huge amount of space in it because you're using just SD card which can have a uh, kind of uh, like memory of up to 32 gigs but that's not enough to create a torrenting machine. You need to, cr you need to provide an external hard disk to this machine so you can run this machine 24-7 for downloading torrent files directly into that hard drive and you can also make that your centralized home media server by sharing the folder in which you're downloading all your contents and for that reason ma you need to keep a NTFS partition hard drive handy and now in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to mount that partition into your Raspberry Pi with read and write permission because if you do not provide read and write permission the transmission the transmission client that is the BitTorrent client using which you'll be downloading the torrent files are not gonna be able to write the file into that partition and that will run into a uh, into um, an error which will show that you do not have enough space into your drive now a lot of you people will will just trip out and one important thing if you do not mount this drive with read and write permissions during mounting it you cannot change the permission even though you are a root user that is a very complicated process so I'm going to show you each and every process w step by step so do not blink just keep watching and uh, if you need any tutorial on how to install uh, transmission into Raspberry Pi because in YouTube you'll find all sorts of tutorials of in uh, installing deluge client which I think is very very buggy it keeps on crashing when you're uh, opening it up using remote desktop connection uh, so that's why I prefer transmission and I have also made a trans uh, a video a video tutorial of how to installing transmission so today I'm j uh, let me just go ahead and show you how to mount that thing so let me go ahead and log into my Raspberry Pi using SSH. Um, for the ease of uh, working, I will log in as a root user with uh, root username and password. Now, the process of setting uh, root password into your Raspberry Pi is easy. It's the same process how you do in Linux. So let's go ahead and do some stuff. The first thing that you need to do is um, create a directory for which you need to tr type mkdir media now this can be named anything you want anything media slash I'll write uh, fat32 I'm going to uh, mount a fat32 partition that's why I'll name it as fat32 then press enter it will create a directory called fat32 okay and after that what you need to do is that you need to um, f disk l this uh, you need to type the command f disk l now this will show all the uh, all the devices all the mass storage devices that are ma that are con uh, connected to your raspberry pi now as you can see these two partitions are the system partitions so they are shown over here now this dev.sda this SDA actually shows all the external devices that are connected to this Raspberry Pi and it has successfully detected my 8 gigs of uh, micro SD card that's right folks for the sake of tutorial I have installed a micro SD card with a fat 32 uh, partitions because at present I do not have the money to buy external hard disk what can I do but I do have to make a tutorial right so um, from here you need to find you need to identify your device 
in which you are which you are going to mount in my case i have only one device connected which is dev slash sda1 this is the extra uh, this is the micro sd card that i have installed in my raspberry pi so you need to remember this dev slash sda now the next command which i'm going to use is very easy and I'm going to post this uh, command into the description down below of the video. So if you're having problem with understanding the, uh, the command in the video, then you can always find it in the description and use it with your ease. Just go ahead and open up. As you can see, I have uh, specifically did all the three uh, kind of, uh, all three kind of, what should I say, commands for, uh, for, mounting NTFS, FAT32 and EXT3. For mounting FAT32, just copy this. Just copy this command and then paste it over here. Now you need to change these credentials. Uh, the place where it's provided slash where you want to mount it, you need to write the, p the directory that you just created, which should be media slash fat32 in my case because I created that uh, that uh, folder and in here the device which I'm trying to mount is going to be dev slash sda1 because as you can see this is this is my uh, micro SD card now if I press enter this will provide this will this will mount my micro SD card into the media slash fat32 directory with read and write permissions now if you do this uh, you can change the config file in transmission daemon uh, I'm sorry it's not the config file it's system.json file and you can put this uh, you can put this uh, directory as downloads directory where you want to download all your files um, so it will keep on downloading over there so there you go that's how you mount uh, a FAT32 NTFS and X30 X EXT3 uh, partitions with read and write permissions now I'm not going to show you how to do uh, all the commands of NTFS and EXT3 because I'll provide the command down below in the description but uh, for all the cases these two steps are common so you can you'll, you will have to create a directory and you'll have to see which which drive you want to mount um, anyways guys thanks for watching this video I hope you have liked this video and if you did then I hope you will click that like button down below and if you if you want to see more of this kind of videos please subscribe to my channel that always encourages me to create more and more videos and if you have any questions related to this don't forget to post that on the comment section I will make sure to uh, reply to your comments. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.